Hello people of the internet, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I hope you're doing well. Today's video is going to be a QA and a in honor, in honor, in honor of hitting 10,000 subscribers. My brain, like my little tiny pea-sized brain cannot comprehend that number, but um, first of all, I wanted to say thank you. I'm really proud and I'm really happy with our like community and just overall feeling very blessed. So I wanted to just express my gratitude real quick before um, we get into it. But yeah, I'm gonna be answering some of your questions. I'd ask you guys both on Instagram and YouTube to submit them and I'm gonna try to answer as many of them as I can. And I'm also gonna make myself some matcha at the same time. So the matcha we will be making today is from David's Tea. It is the peach matcha and I'm gonna make it iced cause it's summertime. So like that's just the best combination. Somebody asked for my matcha recipe. So like you're getting that at the same time. So I kind of separated the like questions into different categories. So yeah, first like section is going to be kind of like questions to get to know me. So I am 16 years old. I'm going to be turning 17 later this year. Where are you from? I am from Quebec, which is a province in Canada. And I live like sort of near Montreal. I'm going to be going to college there next year, like in Montreal. So to give you a bit of an idea. And Quebec is a French speaking province. So if you hear me like speaking French sometimes, that's why. Um, it's actually my first language and my second one is English, but I've just been speaking English for so long that like I would consider myself pretty fluent. I also got like a few questions about like if I wanted to do a video speaking French only. Je veux vraiment en faire une, mais j'ai l'impression que ce serait genre peut-être poche. Mais je vais en faire une, c'est sûr là. Je veux juste comme faire un vlog peut-être avec mes amis, puis on pourrait tout parler français, puis ce serait nice. Mais faut que je vois mes amis pour ça, puis on est tous trop occupés en ce moment. But it's coming. I, I got a bunch of questions asking how tall I am and I think I'm 5'7 but my sister says I'm 5'6 so I'm gonna go measure myself right now, I'll be right back. <laughs> the results are in, I just measured myself and I am officially 5'6 and a half. So I always thought I was 5'7, kind of hurts me a little bit but um, you know I still have time to grow. <laughs> Do you have any siblings? I have a sister <laughs> but um, she doesn't want to be on camera because she's shy. <laughs> But yeah, peer pressure her in the comments to be in my videos because I want her to be in my vlogs, but she doesn't want to yet. Like my family doesn't really like being on camera that much. And I just honestly, I don't feel comfortable like shoving my vlog camera in their face. But my dad is in my vlogs sometimes. And I mean, he's pretty funny. So yeah, maybe I'll feature my dad in my vlogs more. Introvert or extrovert? I did a personality test and according to it, which obviously is very reliable, I am 51% introverted and 49% extroverted. So I guess the correct answer would be introvert. I guess when I am put in a social setting, I will usually like go out to people and try to make them comfortable and like start a conversation. But if I were to choose whether I prefer spending time alone or in a social setting, like I usually prefer spending time alone. Or if I'm gonna hang out with people, I prefer it when it's like one-on-one -on -one or not that many people. My love language is quality time. So I feel like if I am going to hang out with you, like you have to be worth it, you know? What is your part-time job? Um, I've mentioned like a few times in my vlogs that I do have a part-time job. It's like pretty recent and I don't want to talk too much about it, but I work in a restaurant. I kind of like take orders and prepare ingredients and stuff like that. I really like it. Honestly, I've made like good friends there. Okay, now I'm going to fill up like the mason jar up until like the beginning of the circle right here. I don't know if you can tell. Okay, a little more, that much. Next category of questions are going to be school related questions. I actually, I got a lot of questions about it because I guess since I make study vlogs and whatnot, people associated me with that. Uh, what are your college plans? So here in Quebec, college is also like called CJEP. But to quickly explain it, you have high school that starts from when you're 11 to 12 and then you graduate when you're 16 to 17 and then you go to CEGEP for like two years if you're doing a pre-university program after which you have to go to uni and then if you choose to do a DEP, which is like on the side of college well, not on the side, you can either go to CEGEP slash college or do a DEP that takes three years and then after that you can immediately get a job or you can go to university so I'm doing a pre-uni like program in the cinema communications like pro profile of the arts, literature and communications program. Yeah, I've always kind of been interested in film. Like when I was a kid, I wanted to be an actress and then I discovered that there were like other careers in the film industry. 
Um, I'm looking forward to having classes that, that are like more creative and stuff like that. And I'm gonna be going to college in Montreal, so I'm so excited to like make vlogs and just document my whole like experience. I think it's gonna be super fun and I don't want to set too high expectations, but I am very much looking forward to it. I'm just gonna mix this um, using a milk frother because <laughs> I didn't want to- I do have like a bamboo whisk for matcha, but I haven't been using it as much because it's kind of complicated. What subjects do you like best? This year, my favorite subject was by far English literature. I just loved reading the books and then analyzing like the characters and the symbols and going on the internet to look up like interpretations and stuff like that. I just dig that kind of stuff. And then I would say, other than that, I also really like history, except for when you have to like study a bunch of dates. And then I also really enjoy drama class. I really took that class for granted. Like it was so much fun and I wish I had like kind of pushed myself out of my comfort zone more and gone after like bigger roles. How do you find motivation for school? Um, I don't always find motivation for school. I think I tend to like really romanticize every little thing. So I'll romanticize going to the library and studying there. And I try to express gratitude that like I'm blessed enough to have an education. But sometimes like I just honestly do not have motivation and no matter how much I go on Pinterest and try to romanticize like my life, I'm still not motivated. And I think that's where discipline comes in. And I think what has helped me be disciplined is really more like getting into a routine. So for example, if I'm studying for an exam, I usually like follow the same routine of starting out by like reading my notes and then making a mind map or some summary sheets and stuff like that. I usually like have a routine that I go through and that's kind of what helps me stay disciplined. Yeah, hopefully that answers your question. <laughs> I had a question about why do you study so much? Honestly, I don't know. <laughs> um, part of it is because like I'm kind of a nerd and I do enjoy learning, but um, a large part of it is also because I'm kind of scared of failure and I base my worth a lot on like success, which I'm trying to like dismantle. This is me psychoanalyzing myself, but like I feel like I attribute happiness to success a lot and in my mind like that equates, equates? That is equal to? That to, in my mind, success equates to happiness. So in my mind, if I like study a lot and put in a lot of work, that automatically has to lead to like good grades and a good result. So sometimes I only study to like reassure myself. How often do you face burnouts? Um, for me, like burning out is kind of just a mental breakdown where I'm like kind of down and unmotivated and I could just, and <laughs> what? <laughs> and I kind of just realize that I have been overworking myself. So that can happen like every two months ish we don't have any oat milk right now so i'm gonna have to use cow milk um it's not my go-to but i'll have to do today <laughs> yeah welcome to canada where we have milk in a bag it's really not that weird it's actually i prefer milk in a bag it's cooler also this might sound very canadian but i love putting maple syrup to like sweeten my drinks all right next category of questions are going to be youtube related questions why did you start a YouTube channel? <laughs> I just wanted to, honestly. I sort of enjoyed making videos just for fun for like when I was traveling and stuff like that. So I figured why not full send it, you know, and give it a try. <laughs> what is your one tip for small YouTubers? I would say try to take the pressure off of it. Like when I was starting out, I would try to make the content for other people to see. I mean, sure, now I'm more comfortable on camera, but really what's important now is how I feel about the video. So number one tip is just try to find ways to enjoy it and yeah don't overthink it just do it for fun um which creators influence you and your channel i love this question because i do get a lot of inspiration from like who i watch on youtube um let me check who i follow on youtube because i am very particular about it moya mewini really i love her channel like i binge watch her videos in quarantine and i feel like i'm just really proud of the community she's built and the whole aesthetic of her channel is everything. Um, Your Mom Ashley is also one of my favorites. I love how carefree and like just herself and like genuinely down to earth she is in her videos. Um, I aspire to be that way. Leah's Field Notes videos are like the most relaxing thing ever. I also love those. I honestly, I get a lot of inspiration from like whoever does like diaries type of videos on their channel. On YouTube, you can see like who your subscribers slash viewers are also watching on YouTube and a lot of you guys were watching Brianna Kwan and then I started binge watching her videos and now she's like, 
she inspires my channel, so I think it's funny. Okay, lastly, I'm gonna cover some more personal miscellaneous questions. If you're still watching, shout out, um, washing? <laughs> if you're still watching, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> oh my god, okay, sometimes I can't speak English, all right? It's not my first language, so I'm just gonna use that as, as, as an excuse. What career would you wanna have slash dream job? Career, anything in the film industry. Um, I'm interested right now in like being a writer, um, being an editor and perhaps being a director, but that seems like a lot of work. And then dream job, honestly, it would be to be an actress. Like to be able to like become a character and tell a story and then have people feel things because of that story and like a fake emotion that you're playing is just mind blowing to me. So that's a talent I would love to have. <laughs> Manipulating people. Um, you know what? I might get out of my comfort zone and like take a few theater classes next year But who knows <laughs> favorite movie? Dead Poet Society is my favorite movie and I say it's my favorite But I've actually only watched it once because to this day it still Shakes me up so much inside and like makes me think and feel so many things that I cannot watch it again Like I have to mentally prepare myself, but I recommend it to all of my friends. I just love both the aesthetic of it and also the fact that it leaves you feeling so many things favorite food soup i'm always in the mood for that if i were to eat one food for the rest of my life it would be soup and i have no regrets um it's kind of embarrassing to have soup be your favorite food but it is what it is i can't help it <laughs> what songs do you listen to slash favorite songs at the moment i love it when you guys ask me for music recommendations because i just love pretending like i have a good music taste Anything by the neighborhood is stellar. Um, it's they're one of my favorite like artists. I would say I, let's go with artists. Like favorite artists, I think my guilty pleasures are Ariana Grande, Taylor Swift, Chase Atlantic, and Five Seconds of Summer. But like they're old songs, I just listen to them way too much. Some underrated artists are Hotel Ugly and. Lords of Dogtown, like artists from Quebec um, that I would recommend. I love Les Louanges. They make really good like indie music that's in French and I just really vibe with that. And then also Charlotte Cardin. I really love her song. She has a beautiful voice and very relaxing music that I love listening to. I'm actually going to see her in concert next year. Just booked tickets like last Wednesday, so that's exciting. <laughs> okay, I think I could talk about music recommendations for like a whole video, honestly. Oh my god, Doja Cat started playing on my phone. <laughs> chocolate or vanilla? Chocolate, no questions asked. Vanilla is just kind of boring. I'm sorry, if you're gonna take vanilla ice cream when you can take literally anything, I think you're kind of a sociopath um, deep down. <laughs> How do you take care of yourself slash make yourself happy when life gets tough? This is a great question. I think it really changes depending on like your personality and you kind of have to figure out what works for you. But for me, the number one thing that always lifts up my mood is going outside. No matter the weather, I just always like feel better after I go on a walk or something because going outside helps me realize how big this world is and how there isn't only like my little problems in my head. Um, music is also a quick fix. Like when I'm feeling down, I'll notice that I always listen to the same depressing songs. So I try to change that and listen to a new artist or listen to my comfort artists and stuff like that. But those are all like quick fixes. If you wanna make yourself feel better in the long run, I would say for me, it's like getting more into routine. Because usually when I'm feeling down, my routine is all over the place and I just like obviously <laughs> don't function well without one. And yeah, I think that's gonna be my last question. There are a few more questions and I'm sorry if I didn't get to answer yours, but um, this was a lot of fun. I definitely wanna make another Q&A sometime in the future. Maybe I'll just do them from time to time on Instagram. So if you want to go follow me on there, I do post stories every now and then. Um, and yeah, I hope that you enjoyed. If you watched until the end, I really appreciate it. Thank you for sticking with me. And yeah, go make yourself a matcha now and go for a walk because you'll see it's really fun. <laughs> Anyways, thank you so much for watching and supporting me. I love you a lot more than words can express. And yeah, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.